To other news now, reducing the transmission of diseases like HIV and hepatitis, preventing deadly overdoses, and offering help to people in Bear County who are addicted to drugs. Those are the main goals for a slated needle exchange program that's been talked about by county officials for years. And this week, $80,000 in funding was secured from the county. Devin Clark tells us how those in charge of carrying out this plan hope to use those funds and how they're responding to criticism that this program will only enable those looking for a fix. With the highest concentration of babies born addicted to opioids out of any county in Texas, it's clear Bear County residents, both young and old, are heavily impacted by the national epidemic. So one of our primary goals of the Bear County Opioid Task Force is to increase access to treatment. Opioid Task Force Chairman TJ Mays says a pilot needle exchange program that would not only provide addicts with clean needles, but also the overdose antidote Narcan and information about treatment is a step in the right direction. HIV and hepatitis C are both associated with dirty needles. They're both on the rise and we need to address that. Intravenous drug use is a problem in our community. $80,000 from the county budget was approved to fund the program yesterday. The money would pay for needed supplies and also pay trained addiction experts to hit the streets and interact with those affected. It'll cost us a few cents to give them the needle. It's going to cost taxpayers $250,000 if we have to treat them in a Bear County hospital. But the initiative introduced more than a decade ago has not been met without pushback. Wolf says former district attorney Susan Reed opposed the idea and considered it a way to enable addicts. Today, current district attorney Joe Gonzalez stands with Mays and county commissioners in support. One thing you'll find in study after study after study is that comprehensive harm reduction uh, strategies are an effective way to get people to access treatment. And the funds set aside for the program will be available for use come October 1st, and Mays says he hopes to have it fully implemented by this fall. Reporting outside of the Bear County Courthouse, Devin Clark, KSAT 12 News.